Why would this one always scream at you? If you ever see me fight with the bear, help the bear. I can't believe he said that on the freestyle. All right, y'all, man. It is time for the artist spotlight. I got my good friend, Brian Andrews, in the building. Brian Andrews in the building. You ain't got to clap. Oh, oh man. Wow. Clap. Wow, Clap. Isis. Clap. Wow, Isis. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that's just, that's <laughs> cool. No, no, no. You're not going to have to, you don't have to clap. They must be sleep over there. I mean, he, she is supposed to have the claps in, not those kind of claps. That's what you did yesterday. <laughs> He's supposed to have the claps in. Oh, man, what's going on, Brian? What's happening with you, man? Man, good morning to you all, man. How are you all? We're doing, we doing great. We're doing great, man. Uh, real quick, man. Tell. Oh, wow. Now you put the claps on. That's too late. It's too late, man. It's too late. Cut it off. Cut them claps off. It's too late. The crowd is gone. <laughs> Brian, man, I've been knowing Brian, man, I've been knowing Brian for a long time. Dang. Yeah, it has been I've a been while. Long. So I, I met Brian. He used to come by uh, the church playing drums, man, drummer. Uh, but now he's he's doing, I mean, production. He's he's traveling. He's on. I mean, he's playing for Tyler Perry. He's been he's been on the grind for a long time. So real quick, man, can you tell the listeners who don't know you just a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, as you stated, you know, I, my name is Brian Andrews. Um, I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, currently living in Atlanta, Georgia now. I've been here since 91. Um, I came here with uh, school on my mind and not music. I majored in uh, computer operations and because uh, my background was pretty much corporate America and, and got exposed to the music scene here. And one thing led to another, man, is, you know, just started... Um, uh, fine tuning my gift, and uh, God saw placing me and uh, in, in, you know different individuals' lives and certain situations, man. And it just you know one thing led to another. Doors open, and and here I am. That's what's up. Now, now, but you, so you musician. I, I'm gonna ask you this question because uh, you, you're are you fully just a gospel musician, or are you the type of musician that plays? secular and gospel because you know you know the church man they they get they be hard on y'all man some preachers be like you can't be playing for no shaka khan and coming in my church and playing amazing grace do you are you what side are you on when it comes to music and, and church and because a lot be honest with you, a lot of like musicians that play for these artists are like church musicians so what what do you what side do you stand on it's funny that you asked that question. In my earlier Christian walk, in my earlier walk in terms of my career, I was like that. I was just like, you know, I would never play secular music. I would never do a secular gig. Uh, but as I matured as a Christian, uh, I began to learn that my light is my light. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times, um, you know, you can be put in those situations. You don't. That doesn't mean that you have to indulge in everything that's going on in those right, environments. Right. And so that's something that I learned when I was when I am in those. Now I don't. There are certain genres or certain like if it's a lot of cussing, uh, if it's music that's degrading, then no, I won't do those gigs. I won't play that type of music. But mm -hmm. if this, if it's positive music, because we all love Earth, Wind, and Fire, we all love. Mm -hmm the Motown music and music, those, you know, that music has substance, man. It might not necessarily glorify God, but it had messages. And when you, when you listen to music like Marvin Gaye, mm -hmm. it might not necessarily talk about God, but it has a social conscience mm -hmm. that that's just as important as when we're, when we're talking about Christ. Right, right, right. And so I think, I think, you know, in those situations, you still can allow your light to shine. You know, uh, there's a lot of well-known jazz artists and secular artists that have that have incredible testimonies in life uh, walks with Christ. Exactly. That are, to me, that are just as profound as bishops and pastors and people that are, that are living what we call that life, that Christian mm -hmm. walk. Mm -hmm. So tell us, man, what you got? What you got planned for us in 2016? What What should we be expecting from you uh, in 2016? Well, you, you know, I. I just dropped a new single uh, last week entitled An Early Thursday. And we're going to be playing that right after this. And it's hot. It okay. really is. Uh -huh. yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, so with that, um, I also have an entertainment company, uh, Bright Entertainment. And so um, this is a segue to uh, um, I'm going to be releasing an EP myself. 
and I'm also working on two new artists that I'll be introducing uh, later on this year, okay. uh, Andrew Green along with uh, April Ruffin. And Alton Walker. And so, I heard that you had to do that Alton Walker on the on – the, uh, Man, yes. That I'm cat, doing a, um, that cat's coming a, out. Um, a Monica, a Monica project on this guy. Yeah, man. I heard he's killing too. Like he's, <laughs> he's killing, man. He's incredible. <laughs> So I'm just, you know, my goal this year, man, is to is this is this is to produce and um, okay. put out as much music as I can this year. I'm, I'm kind of behind, um, and so I want to, you know, just do what I can and put out a lot of good music, man, a lot of positive music. And uh, this week, I've been talking to several people that's um, that's requesting my help. So I'm gonna also be helping some other people, man, in terms of their dreams and their goals. That's what's up. Um, uh, to help them get out there as well, man. So. That's what's, up. That's what's up, man. All right, man. We're gonna we're gonna jump into your your uh, single in early Thursday. It is, and it's funny, ain't that ironic? It's Thursday, ain't that something? Look how, how about that? Look how God linked that up. Where can people uh, <laughs> where can people reach you, man? Where can they uh, find you on social media and all that stuff? Go ahead and give that out uh, before we introduce your uh, your single. Okay, my personal website is brianandrews.com. That's Brian with an E, B R I E N, Andrews.com. You can find me on Facebook, BrianAndrews.com, as well as Instagram uh, and Twitter, um, Brian Andrews, all that. Brian Andrews on all of them. <laughs> Brian Andrews, make it simple. Do you have any shows coming up that we come check you out on? I don't have any myself. I am working on some, uh, but they, they will be updated on my website. Got you. Make sure you go check out Brian Andrews all on social media. I mean, this man been putting in work since I was a little boy, and he still uh, continues. <laughs> So, hey, y'all, uh, thank you for uh, coming on the show, man. We're about to jump into this uh, single for all my jazz lovers. This junk is hot, man. I love it. Uh, it's called An Early Thursday. Yes, sir. <laughs> With Brian Andrews, man, on the Radio Revival. 